Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Another video today around these glass jars I did last week. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put it up in the top corner there to check out. It's basically how to engrave images on glass using a diode laser. Um, just a little trick to use kids paint to apply over the top and you just run an engraving as you normally would on any material. But in today's video, uh, what I'm going to be showing you is what I'm actually making with these jars because I've bought loads of them and I've sold lots of them for a wedding. So I'm just going to show you the process I do of engraving, but I'm also going to be colouring it gold as well. So it's not just going to engrave and look white. Um, I am going to show you how to colour it gold. There's a certain thing you need to use. I've tried lots of different things to see if I can get different colours. Not much success as of yet. I'm still trying, but gold, I can get it to come out gold perfect every single time. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to prepare it the same I did in my last video, where I'm going to paint a layer of paint over the top. And that paint is going to allow me then to engrave it. But again, if you want all the details on that, check out the previous video. I'll also put it down in the description so you can check out as well. So yeah, I'm quickly going to run some paint on this now. We'll come back. We'll get the design loaded up, ready to go on the laser. We'll run it. Once that's done, we'll clean it up. And then we can just apply our gold paint then where it'll only come out on the engraving. So there you go, guys. Once again, I've put the paint over the top where I'm going to be engraving. I've used this cheap airbrush just to apply it to get a nice even coat. So as you can see there, it's a lovely even coat over the top, just on that one side, on the front, doesn't need to be inside, uh, just on the front. And like I said, this will just wash off once we run the engraving. We'll get the design loads up, ready to go on the engraver. We'll run a quick time lapse of it engraving. We'll come back, clean it up. And like I said, we'll get the, the gold put on there. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got the jar now loaded in place where I wanted to engrave. I've used my piece of acrylic now to actually level the laser. So that is in the right place. So I'll run the home command and now I'll run the frame command. And again, this just runs a quick square around where the design is going to sit. That looks good to me. Good thing with this is you can actually see roughly a really faint line of where it runs that frame command. So now I'm happy with that. Again, I'm going to home it and I will run the engraving. Again, I'll run a time lapse now. Um, so you'll just see it run through really quickly. Right, guys, there we go. As you can see, it has now just come off the laser. So it's all engraved through the black paint and now successfully onto the glass. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to clean off the black paint. Again, you can do this with just like warm soapy water. I'm just going to be using some isopropyl alcohol, my dirty cloth and some elbow grease really. Just gonna get that off now then and basically scrub all the paint off. You can uh, take a few attempts if you're doing it this way. I said warm soapy water should be best because you can just stick it in there. It'll soften the paint up and the paint will just come off. But yeah, I'll just take all this off now. So as you can see guys, we got all the paint off where it's engraved on the design. Now we just need to apply our special material to be able to paint this and it's gonna be gold. And what I'm gonna be using today, it's called rub and buff and so you get like a nice golden finish with this color and i'll show you exactly how i do it now you can apply it to a cloth and just rub and buff it in but i just like to put a little bit on my finger literally just the smallest amount that's more than enough and then you just rub it in and i'll just keep going and going make sure i'm getting it in all the engraved bit and then i'm just going to wipe them away so as you can see there, it's taken on into the engraving there. So this bit just needs to still be removed. Just keep rubbing it with your finger and you'll see it will start coming away. If you find you're having a little bit of trouble with it, just wet the end of your finger and then just rub that in again. Let's just clear it. There we go. Look at that. That is a lovely gold finish now I've got engraved on these glass jars. Definitely guys, give this a go. If you wanna check my other video on how to, you know, the full details of how to actually engrave the, the glass jars, again, I'll put it in the link down below so you can check that out. Very simple, easy to follow. And uh, yeah, and this is more aimed around just coloring these. So there we go, guys. I do hope, again, you enjoyed this video and you've learned something new here. And I do genuinely hope you give this a go and you get amazing results just like I have because honestly, these are gonna make you a good bit of money. All right, guys, so I'll end here. Do hope you enjoyed it again, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.